all <clears throat> welcome back um, this is one other continuation of the platform developer one certification series uh, after a long back I'm continuing so let's go ahead with the next set of the questions um, a developer executes the following query in the Apex to retrieve a list of the contacts for each account and that is like list account accounts and he's uh, running two queries one within the other one is contact and one for the account which two executes may occur when it executes so the choose two answers so the sql query limit exception due to number of the contacts yes sql query limit exception due to the number of accounts yes cpu limit i don't think it's going to cause cpu limit and sql query limit exception due to number of the queries so i don't think d is also so the correct answer would be a and b uh, which is right because you know both the queries if you can see there is no limit so if it retrieves more than 50,000 records as per the governor limits, it's going to throw this exception, uh, row limit exception due to the number of contacts or the account. So the correct answer is A and B. <coughs> so next question is a visual force interface is created for the case management that includes both standard and the custom functionality defined in an apex class called my controller extension. The visual force page should include which page attributes to correctly implement the controller functionality so in the visual force page it's saying the question says both standard and the custom functionality defined in the apex class so if it is on the case object so we'll use both i think the standard controller case and the extension my controller extensions because b c d are uh, like you know it's not it's a controller means it's a custom controller and extension which is not the case as per the question and the C and D is using only extension of the controller so the correct answer is A as per me yes it is the correct answer and which approach should a developer use to add the pagination to the visual force page I think if you go to the it's, it's very detailed uh, you know uh, if you go through all the controllers available in the uh, Salesforce uh, usually in a for if you want to add a pagination we use the standard set controller because it returns uh, you know it has the capability to return the records in sets so which you can handle it programmatically uh, there's no direct definition for it in the, for this in the you know uh, explanation so uh, it's it's standard set controller uh, so you can check the you know if you're doing some poc you can try that why would a developer consider using custom controller over controller extension so um, to increase the SOQL governor limits now to implement all of the logic for the page and bypass bypass the default Salesforce functionality uh, yes I think uh, the enforce user sharing settings and permissions you know that to leverage inbuilt functionality you no know. so as per the question it's uh, to implement all of the logic for the page and bypass default functionality so why you use custom controller is because you have some custom uh, you know functionality which is written in the apex class and you use it over extension basically you know you, uh, extension has to be used along with the standard controller only so if you are using custom controller you have to bypass the default salesforce functionality so that's why you use custom controller and which two platform features allows the use of unsupported language I think this is a straightforward question if you google you get it it's app json and build packs um, yeah uh, this is pretty straightforward you can check so this is it's app json and the build packs next question what is the benefit of using an after insert trigger over the using a before insert trigger so after a first uh, a and after insert trigger allows developer to make call out to the action service no because you cannot you can make in before insert as well and after insert trigger allow developer to modify fields in the new record without code no not true after insert trigger allows developer to insert other object that reference the new record this is important that reference the new record so if you want to reference the new record which has been uh, inserted that you use it in after insert so and the D after insert trigger allows developer to bypass right now by you cannot validate the bypass rule unless you custom it customize uh, you know create some custom settings to do that naturally you cannot so the correct answer is C next question is what are the eight officially supported language on the Heroku platform 
um, I think is node Ruby Java answer is D uh, it's very simple straightforward question I don't know how it made it to the Salesforce uh, you know, uh, certification question because it's mostly on the Heroku platform maybe for some integration they have added it uh, in some release so they have added it added this question so to just verify um, let's go to Heroku platform this is Heroku official website and these are the language it supports node ruby java php python go scala and closure so if you see node ruby java php python go scala and closure so the correct answer is d what is the requirement for the class to be used as a custom visual force controller so uh, this is what is the requirement it's any top level class that implements can the controller interface uh, any top level class is fine uh, but uh, it has to be no argument uh, default class so it is the correct answer is B C um, returns a page reference uh, that anyways you can do it in any other class and D any top level class that extends page reference no the correct answer is B top level apex class that has no default argument constructor so to show you let me go to this uh, document like a custom control is apex class that uses default no argument construction for the outer top level class so that's exactly what is the b so a developer created lightning component to display a short text summary for an object and wants to use it with multiple apex classes how should the developer design the apex classes so based on this i think uh, the correct answer would be uh, a i think yes have each class implement an interface that defines the method um, get summary that returns the summary so have the each class implement this method get summary and you know you can uh, reference it from the you know every class for an object which approach should a developer take to automatically add maintenance plan to each opportunity that includes an annual subscription when an opportunity is closed closed so for this i think uh, you can uh, answer correct answer is c so you can build an opportunity trigger to add an opportunity line item for a record which adds an opportunity line item to that opportunity uh, which is game getting closed and uh, that's how you can you know do it so thank you for watching up until here uh, please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet i'll be posting more such videos and do click the bell icon for the notification uh, thank you thanks for watching bye bye let me know your suggestion if you have any uh, how i can make these videos better so i'll uh, implement those changes and share it with you guys thank you bye bye